Did I just... Oh my god, you can move it? Oh my god, I didn't know you could do this. Coming through. Falcon with a chest. Out of the way, please. Oh, oh, I just jumped for one. Oh no, they flipped it upside down. <gasps> How am I going to open it now? Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Play Shopkeep here at the House of Bargain, as we normally like to call it. We have a quest for today, which is going to be plate equipment finally, meaning if we actually get this done, if we come over here, we'll see that we'll actually get the plated shield, or not the plated shield, but the plated statue as well. The only thing that we're going to be missing afterwards is going to be the dragon equipment, which is a bit more difficult to undertake for the fact that, you know, this guy doesn't bring back any uh, dragon soul gems. He keeps bringing me back, like, enchanted swords or bones, and I'm like, you know what, dog? I can make my own enchanted sword. I can make my own bones. I need some dragon soul gems, my friend. So hopefully we get this underway this time around. So let's start off by sending him off just in case, because I normally forget to do this earlier on anyway. So we'll do Dragon Claw Cave. Get on out of here. Let's go over here and start our day of business. We'll take a look at that quest here pretty soon. Uh, there you go. Day 28. We have a lot to talk about as well. There shouldn't be anything new in the store. I'm pretty sure there isn't anyway. I went ahead and I crafted new items. I went ahead and bought some more back stock, etc., etc. Did my cleaning. Things of that nature. Nothing really new. I have a lot of money stored up. We're at 282,000. Um, to bring down this wall, it's going to cost me a million. So that's going to have to wait for a bit here. We could actually bring this one down for 250, and then the one over here costs me 100,000. So if we bring this one down, it'll probably be an identical type of room to this one right here, right? Assuming we're going with this whole symmetrical look for the shop itself. So I'm considering doing that one. However, at the same time, I would like to see what this room looks like for 250,000. Now the problem here is if I do that, we'll have to move these um, shelves around, which is going to be a bit of a problem. I mean... And the problem is as well that I'm not really sure what I want to build back there just yet because we have just about everything here set up the way I wanted. Unless we start doing this like in a type of way where in this first um, housing room area over here we do nothing but like wizard equipment. Then over here we do like knight equipment. But even then you're kind of limited because you know there's only really two classes in the game right now which is just knights and wizards. So I'm not sure how we're to break it down. So how about this? Guys let me know in the comments what you would like to see like for rooms. Like what kind of setup would you like like? I don't know, nothing but leather or gold here, nothing but plate over here. I don't know, give me some ideas. I'm actually down for um, whatever opinions you have to do over here, and I'll just toss them around in my head and figure out what's actually good or not. But right now, what we want to do is actually get this quest underway. So let's take a look at this here really quickly. Oh, we sold the plate shoulders already. So all we need to do is sell boots, pants, chest, and helm. Good thing for us is that all that stuff is right here up front. We have the chest, we have the pants, we have the helmet. And we have the boots right here. So all the items required for the statue are basically up here up front. So that's pretty much good to go. Um, now let's talk about the game itself. There's actually a few updates that are coming around pretty soon. I'm trying not to record too many of these right now because I don't want to end up with a big backlog of episodes. And then when the update comes, I don't really show it off in time. But essentially what the new update is going to entail is a bunch of like Christmas type of things like items. Uh, and some of these items, mind you, are going to be kind of interesting because allegedly... You could only get them during Christmas, and after Christmas, you'll no longer have a chance to do it. So, and apparently it's going to take like a little bit of an interesting way to do it. Like, it's not going to be like, just buy the item and you have it. It's more of, uh, you have to complete some sort of quest that the developers haven't really mentioned just yet. More than likely selling something or acquiring something, building something through items. I'm not entirely sure. The developers are being kind of vague about it. But I'm going to keep my eye out for, on it because it looks kind of interesting. What's really cool, too, is they're apparently working on a little bit of a winter type of, um, town which actually has more buildings and everything like that, which could be kind of interesting as well. So I'm looking forward to that for sure. Out here we still have our meat, <laughs> our cooked meat. As a matter of fact, you know what? If that um, that champion doesn't bring back these Dragon Soul Gym, bring me back a piece of meat. You know why? Just because I want to have three pieces of meat out there. Because for all I know, the quest to get all of these Christmas items are going to be something kind of really obtuse that you don't really have to do normally. So I wouldn't be surprised if you probably require like a piece of meat being cooked out there or something. Who knows? For all you know, I have to kill the big giant barbarian lady, which I have not seen just yet. We really had one raid so far. Look at this guy, all mad about that. Now, what are you mad about, dog? Are you on? Are you on, my friend? You're retrieving items. Yeah, you're on. Oh! Oh! Hey! Hey! Hey, get to work! Look at that guy had to come all the way over here to do your job. Retrieving items. Yeah, Fio, what's your problem? Get to work. See, that guy had to, do, had to come all the way from over there just to pick that item up. That's on you, my friend. Okay, let's see what's happening over here. So right now, what are the hide items for now, just out of curiosity's sake? We still have to sell those three items right here. Come on, sell them, my friends. Let's see, we have 
leather vest, basic wand, armored boots, and mush. You know what's actually pretty cool? The fact that we do have some wands. I actually set up some wands finally because I figure, you know, I really haven't had any wands for sale for the wizards out there. So they might be a little bit upset, but now I have some wands. I mean, I should have made some more enchanted wands, but it's kind of a hassle to, you know, actually make those. So, you know, whatever, I just order some of the ones that we had bad backstop. Speaking of which, we're up to 304,000 already. So if we want to bring down this wall, I could do that right now, as a matter of fact. What do you guys think? Bring it down? You know what? Let's bring it down. Oh. Oh, it's just an extension. Uh, that's all there is to it? And this actually connects to my little back stock room over there, huh? Alrighty, well, hell, we brought it down. It cost me a lot of money. I'm actually quite broke now. That's going to be kind of interesting when I have to do my restocking later on and I have no much, too much money to actually do it. We'll see how that works out. Come here, my Skeletor friend. You have to come over here for now. And do we... Ah, I shred him down. I was going to say, do we collect bodies again? Now this is good and shred him down. It's fine. All right, we're still waiting for those plate items to be sold over here. Oh, champion's back. Oh, yeah, he won. Uh, let's see, what did you bring back this time around, my friend? Uh, mushroom, health potion, health potion, arrows, plate chest, health potion, and solid bone. Oh, big fucking surprise. Get back out there. Dragon soldier, my friend. What was that? That was kind of weird. It's like this. Oh, did I just... Oh, my God, you can move it? Oh, my God, I didn't know you could do this. Coming through. Falcon with a chest. Out of the way, please. Oh, oh, I just jumped for one. Oh, no, they flipped it upside down. <gasps> How am I going to open it now? Look, look, you fools, you cretins, look what you did. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah, the physics are pretty crazy in this chest. I kind of like it. Uh, let's go ahead and pick this up already. It just disappears straight up. Ah, that would make sense. Is this my is my bro over here working? Are you not working? All right, man, you're going to have to cost me some fuel, aren't you? Of course you would. All righty. Now, what's going on here? Are you too close to the, to the door or something? I'm going to place you one more time. And you, my friend, need to get to work. There you go. You need to get to work, alrighty? None of this um, lousing around business. Everybody else is working. So this guy's over here just pulling double duty because of... Oh, there he goes! Now he's working. That's kind of weird. On occasion, you have to just kind of, like, re-equip. I mean, it costs you a few, unfortunately. But, you know, it's not like... Actually, I was going to say, it's not like we're hurting on money, but let me take that back. We actually are hurting on money now because I bought that giant room back there. Oh, but look at this. We're only down two more plate um, items to actually get our statue. Oh, yeah. What happens when you get all five statues? Probably nothing. It's more of a, just a, a goal to set to yourselves. It's something to do otherwise, other than just going around selling to people here. I'm, I'm really liking the, um... Jude? <gasps> Jude Rednose? Hey, I had an episode about you not too long ago, Jude Law. Yeah, I did. Well, I mean, it was Jude Law, not Jude Rednose, but, you know, just about the same thing, really. I guess Jude Law probably had a red nose after he uh, fell off of um, the Hollywood hype train, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure what that means. Let's go ahead and equip this here and here. I do have some enchanted robes as well, I want to say. And let's go ahead and start plugging up some of these holes right here. That's what she said. hi yo, hi yo. Oh boy, Falcon, you're on one today. Let's go ahead over here. I think I have some bucklers to set up over here. I have a lot of them, so you might as well put them down just so we can sell them off anyway. Just backstock. Just backstock for the sake of backstock. You know how it works out. Alrighty, so that's all fine and dandy over here. Let me grab this Skeletor man. Moby Rigoro. <laughs> I love the choice of names in this game. They're just always so comical. You know, they always have like, you know, like dick butthead or something. You're like thinking, <laughs> he's a dick butt. We still haven't sold that, huh? I'm upset about this. Quite upset about this as a matter of fact. Didn't I just bring you over here? Guess not. And people have been learning me in the comments that I've been killing a bunch of the Jackman brothers recently too, which I'm upset about. The Jackman Brothers and I go way, way back, back in the days before, you know, Hugh Jackman became a big hit. Like, we used to hang out all the time, like, you know, go to the Irish, Scottish, Irish, Scottish. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not sure where Hugh Jackman really hails from. Uh, I'm just choosing random European countries here. But we used to go to the pubs back in whatever his nation would be. Ooh, we're one item away. And uh, we used to drink all the time, and then he got a little bit big because of the whole X-Men thing. I haven't talked to Hugh since then, honestly. We haven't really hung out. On occasion, he'll text me like a smiley face, and he'll be like, Hey, Falcon, smiley face, XOX, and I'm like, Fuck you, Jack, Jew. <laughs> Fuck you, Hugh Jack. Jack Hugh. I'm not even sure what I said right there. I had like a complete brain fart here. But uh, that's to signify the fact that I'm so salty about the fact that Hugh Jackman you kind of forgot about me completely. Now I'm over here. Uh, working, uh, you know, a 9-to-5 job every single day, and, and Hugh Jackman's over there just living the high life. And speaking of which, we got the plate equipment. Yeah! Alright, the only thing we're missing now is the dragon equipment, which is going to be more difficult because obviously we have to get nothing but dragon soul gems. I wonder what you need to sell for that. More than likely the helmet, the shoulders, the plate, and the pants. Maybe the sword. 
Maybe. Well, that's all we have for now. Oh, it's Daniel Romero's. You know what I found out through the um, little startup screen for the game? Daniel Romero's is actually one of the... I think he's the artist of the game or something like that. I don't know. He's part of the development team, I'm pretty sure. So the developing team guys have their own characters in the game, and they're unique. So um, Daniel Ramos is the reason why he's got that little fancy hat that I really like. And I wish you could actually make that hat and sell it yourself, but I guess then Daniel Ramos will kind of lose his uniqueness, so that will probably won't happen. By the way, these wooden pants? Is it just me, or does that sound really painful to you? Like, if you have wooden pants on, can you imagine what's going on down there? You know, like splinters all up in the... Uh, well, you know where. I could imagine that could be really, really painful. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and um, restock here. Hey, at least we're up to 117,000 already, so we are making more money back after selling off that, or at least buying off that giant room over there. Which I'm still not going to use for a while, so what was the point of doing it? Not really much for now. But we'll figure it out. Now let's see here. Books. Books, books, books. People have been telling me, Falcon, you have way too many books, and you're right, I, I really do. They don't really sell too often. I just like the way they look in the shelves, though. It kind of gives me, like, a little bit of a pleasant type of look to the store. A little bit fancy, you know? Plate shoulders. Let's go ahead and uh, refill you up here. All right. That's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Hey, you guys stop cursing over there, all right? Uh, keep it PG in my store. The only person allowed to curse is me over here, okay? Uh, I should have more wands for sale, I want to say. There we go. I have 44 of them, as a matter of fact. I don't think I'm going to run out of wands anytime soon. Or maybe. I don't know. If we keep selling them, we probably should. As a matter of fact, I think you probably... Oh, no! I picked up the bot by mistake! He was flying by when I was collecting these items over here. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. That, that was kind of weird. I, I think something got stuck in my throat. Oh. oh, it hurts a little bit. I gotta... Oh, no, no. Get, get out of here. Get out of here, Max. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my I bot. I really don't care much. I really don't care much. Oh, I got no more fuel left over. Oh, that's a problem. Alrighty. Nobody steal for a second. Actually, you can steal all you want. My bots will kill you. But I do need to buy some more fuel, which is a bit more of a problem when you're a bit broke now. Place this order. I should also pay my taxes before we got shut down randomly over here. Let me come back over here and find out what's happening. Oh! We have our chest back. Perfect. Let's see, I'll be right back. Let me just go and fuel up my bot over here because he needs to be collecting at all times. Bot man, you were the one that was working the entire time too, so I don't blame you for getting sucked into my collection. There he goes, back to work already. This guy just doesn't ever stop working, you know? Really, really good worker. I should really promote him, honestly. I'll make him like, you know, head robot man. Speaking of head robot man, what about with all these bodies over here? Are you guys being killed by mistake or what? What's the problem here? You get shredded right here. Let's see. What did you find for me this time, my friend? Uh, we have plate pants, sword plane, plate pants, and solid bone. Okay. Look, dog, I don't think you understand. You think I'm playing with you? I'm not playing with you whatsoever. Get your ass over there and bring me back a soul gem, alright? This is not a game, champion man. Let's come over here. Okay, you stop spreading your legs for me too, Skeletor. Oh, <laughs> get your ass over there. Yeah, yeah, you do the splits as you go down. Alrighty, we have this one over here too. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yo, look at this fly. Alright, I'm gonna collect them again. Why not? We'll just place them over here, and this will hopefully be like a deterrence for everybody else. Like, in case they want to steal, they'll look at the bodies and be like, man, this shop doesn't fuck around. Although, by this point, they should probably know that if they try to steal, they're gonna die, but, you know, they don't ever get the, the point, you know? And what happened to my rugs? How do we lose them so fast? Was that how much traffic we had today, or what? Feels that way. Alright, let's do some restocking here meanwhile, because we're looking a little bit barren up front. Pants, you go over here. Skyrim helmet, you come over here as well. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Does anybody else like make like random weird songs like out of like sounds? Like I, I have the, like that notion for some reason. Every single time I'll just be doing something, there's something going on. I'll just be like bada bing, bada boom. I'll like make a song. Like you know, sometimes I'll be you know doing my Selena Gomez thing in my head. What? What's wrong with Selena Gomez? Well, you, you can tell me that some of her songs aren't catchy. I already- I talked about this in other videos before, and I'll talk about it again. Love You Like a Love Song? Catchy song! You cannot tell me it's not a catchy song. If you're telling me it's not a catchy song, you, my friend, are lying to yourself. Alrighty. Ooh, I love you like a love song, baby. Uh, you know, I'm using the... Um, that version was the one where I give her an accent, even though she doesn't really talk with an accent, I'm pretty sure, but... For some reason, in my head, it works so much better with an accent, you know? It's almost like um, Sofia Vergara singing the song, really. It'd be like, you know, Oh, I love you like a love song, baby. Which kind of sounds more like Sofia Vergara mixed with a little bit of Arnold Schwarzenegger in there. Which, by the way, 
amazing combination. YouTube, um, you know, humor parody channels. I gave you the idea, run with it. Sofia Vergara meets Arnold Schwarzenegger sing-off. That is money written all over it. Alrighty, Falcon gave you the, the wings to do it. <laughs> you get it because I'm a bird? Uh, I crack myself up sometimes. Alright, let's see here. Gold Equip has been selling a little bit for once, which is surprising. Oh, we only have one more boot left. Over. Eh, can't fill you up. What about these gloves? 14 of these. That could work out. You know what? Place some gloves over here, too. There you go. So that's looking pretty good. We've sold all of our all of my gold helmets, unfortunately, so I do have to make some more. But they're kind of a pain in the ass to make, so I'm gonna hold off on that here a bit longer. We'll probably just fill it up with some Skyrim helmets or something. Who's around? Ooh, that's good right here. Uh, what do we have over here? I guess more shields, huh? I don't think I have any more regular gold shields, so we'll just use the gold-plated ones for now. Oh no, we've sold all the race girls, my, my favorite item in the game. Why is it my favorite item? Well, it doesn't really cost too much, but look at this. It just looks so majestic back here, you know? Like something something of value is happening back here. That's what it reminds me of. Did we sell more? Oh, we did. Who bought this right now? I just restocked these barely. Oh, somebody, somebody came in here and bought some gold equipment, just in general. There you go, good. Good, good, good stuff. As you probably noticed too, I've actually lowered the amount of mushrooms I think that I am selling now because they're kind of like the lesser variety of them. So, you know, it's not really a point to add like a ton of them really. So, I'm going to stick to the old mush and the old weed, which brings in the most money, honestly, of all the items that we have here. Have we, um, have we closed the doors? We have! <laughs> when did this happen? I'm over here been busy just japping and japping away. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like to support us a lot. Uh, we'll continue going forward a few more episodes. But remember, there's a big update in the way. So um, I might release like maybe two of these episodes in one day if I feel I'm a bit backlog and I want to actually cover the updates. But again, that's coming towards the end of the month. So we still have some time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will catch you next time.